Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your reading. Um, do excuse my cracky voice, cracky throat. I'm still recovering. Okay, so we have the card of Capricorn coming out. So Capricorn, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to have you on board. Um, if the reading resonates, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if it doesn't resonate, make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart. There's an offer coming in for you. Quite possibly from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, if you are interested in doing classes with me, having a personal reading or um, donating to the channel, all of the information is in the box below. And if you're unsure, I'm happy for you to email me to get clarification. Um, I don't obviously answer readings, um, but it's somebody sad about something here. Somebody's waiting for somebody to return. Um, Please remember the readings are only general though and they do flip-flop a bit and I think that's everything so let's get into it. Okie dokie. So first off we have the Seven of Pentacles coming out. Now the Seven of Pentacles is a card of planting seeds for the future. It's a card of patience, waiting, waiting for something to grow, waiting for something to evolve, waiting to do something. It can be investing money, um, but you're waiting and waiting and waiting. Five of Wands coming through here. Now, the Five of Wands is a card, it's a card of conflict, mental conflict. Now, it can be with other people, but in this particular, particular deck, it's only one person. So there's conflict around what to do about something. I feel like you're waiting on something and you're not sure whether you should make a move or whether you sit and wait here. Okay, there's the Fool coming out, which talks about taking a leap of faith and we have the Magician. Okay, still not 100% sure. Something you've been waiting on that you felt very conflicted about and you're not really sure whether to take a leap of faith or whether to wait it out because you have all the tools you need to have create a new start. So what are you contemplating here? Because it's still not clear on whether to move forward. I feel like the universe is saying to you, sit tight, but the cards are saying to me, that there is some sort of movement that needs to be made here in order for this to move forward. There is a leap of faith required, but I feel like you need to wait. I feel like you need to wait it out. Um, because I think you're going to get this opportunity. Whatever it is here is going to come in. And you're going to get an opportunity to act on something because you have you are the magician. Um, and you will have to take a leap of faith. But I feel like at the moment there's some sort of going backwards and forwards or contemplating what to do at this time. And the universe is saying, just wait, just wait. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. Now that says to me some sort of clarity is coming. The Ace of Swords talks about a brand new start. One that is built on clarity, precision, knowing, inner knowing. It's about clear vision, knowing the way forward. And I feel that's coming to you. This is why the universe is saying, just wait, don't act. All right, some sort of cycle needs to be closed out before this can move forward. So this Ace of Swords is ready to go, but something has to be finished first. So a brand new start is waiting to come in, but something has to conclude. But you can't rush this. Yeah. All right, some sort of truth. Look, somebody's bringing that truth to you to help you close out a cycle. Okay, and it looks like it could be a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, but somebody who takes on the attributes of the King of Pentacles. Someone who's been slow in coming in, but has this truth, whatever this is here, this gift of something for you that's going to help you move forward and have a more stable future. This gift, 
I feel this gift is around some sort of knowledge, information that's buried within you that you are not able to see at this time. Now, for some of you, this could be a gift around your psychic ability or your ability to see into the future. There's something very, very potent about this gift that this person's bringing to you. So maybe there has been a situation here that because of this gift, you will see something more clearly than you've done before. You will have clear vision. Something is becoming very apparent to you when this person comes in. Now they're coming in, you know, with the sword held high here. So they definitely have been steered to you by spirit because they're helping you cut something away here and release a cycle. Some sort of cycle of negative thinking here. There's a strong feeling here that this is about trust and faith and having faith in the universe managing something here for you. Golly, I'll move one thing and then ten things go out of place. Um, okay, I feel like whoever this person is that's coming in for you, it might be someone new. It could be a person who's bringing you in news for whatever reason. And I think this is why the universe is saying just hold fast here. You will be required to take a leap of faith, but he's bringing in this something here to help you become this magician, to help you recognize your personal power because you're moving forward here. So we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like somehow or another, maybe you are not realizing your true power here. And somebody's helping you out with some sort of ancient wisdom or some sort of gift here to help you see your true power. Wow. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles coming in next with the Hierophant. Okay. All right, I can see what's happening now. Five of Cups coming in here. This is marriage. This here is marriage. King and Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Someone looks like they're coming in to ask you to marry them. It's just, that's as clear as it could be. But something in this offer, this gift, this proposal is helping you to see more clearly towards your future. And I feel like here, perhaps you've been stuck in the past a little bit. Perhaps you've had some sort of regret or remorse that's kept you stuck in this negative thinking, in this negative way of being. And I think this person is going to open you up to your true power here. Let me just keep going. You could be dealing with a cancer, uh, but the chariot talks of forward movement and seeing beyond the illusion. Wow. Okay, you're going to get a big glimpse could be dealing with a water sign here because we have the Queen of Cups and the card of Cancer. We also have the card of Taurus here and Earth signs Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I think these represent a marriage. Now, it could be that this is some sort of past life thing because I don't know that you know this person. There is nothing here to say this is someone coming from your past, somebody you already know. So someone here maybe offering you a gift, or probably not marriage if you don't know them. But whatever they're offering you is this gift, maybe opening you up to a past life marriage here. Past life definitely coming through very, very strong with this reading. They're lifting the illusion here for you on your past negativity. You may be stuck in some sort of energy of the past here. And they're opening you up to something new. I have a feeling this is past life here. All right, let me just go back and go through it again. I see the universe telling you to wait on something. Something is coming to you that will require you to take a leap of faith. Um, something that will bring your power back. You're coming back into this power. And I feel like it's like ancient wisdom or past life power here. Um, but something is coming to you via someone here 
that you may have had a close connection to in a past life, not in this one. Something is waking you up here. Somebody is bringing you into a new age, a new dawn, taking you out of this energy of being blocked in your past or maybe seeing yourself based in your past, not seeing your full potential. There's forward movement and the moving and the removing of the veil or the mask, whatever it is that holds you back from seeing your true self. Okay, so definitely looks like a water sign making an offer. Nine of Wands, Six of Swords, Knight of Cups and the Star. There we go. Something that's releasing you. So we have the Queen of Cups with the Page of Cups. So there's an offer here being made. I feel like you've got a past life connection with someone here. There seems to be a closing of your past pain. It's like you're letting go of all the time that's gone before and you're moving into the time. There's the, look, another water sign with a cup. Definitely strong water here. Whoever this person is, they're helping to release you to embrace your destiny. So they, they're getting you to release something that's going to put you on the correct path. Or on a new path, maybe. But this is something ancient. It's something It's something to do with past lives here. So have the card of fire and ice coming out here. That's very Game of Thronesy, isn't it? Card 37. 37. Oh, straight to the page. I like it when they do that. Oh, okay. This is a really long one too. I'll read you what's here, but if you have a chance to look this up, go and read it because it's very powerful. This oracle brings you guidance that the conflict you feel within or externally is a sign of your spiritual growth. Soon you will grow larger than the conflict, but for now you do not need to engage in it, simply to be present to it and allow it to work its way through you until you are strong enough to outgrow the conflict, giving rise to a clear direction. It may seem impossible, beloved, but it's not. You are a vast being. Give yourself a chance to realise this and have patience. All is becoming, including you, according to the perfection of divine design. This oracle brings specific guidance on any relationship matter requiring a decision until you have simple clarity in your heart beyond the pushing away and pulling closer. Then it is time to wait, for there is more yet to be revealed. Only when your heart speaks clearly, then you will do well to act as it feels truthful for you. Holy dooly. Okay, so there is some information here that is coming to light. The universe is asking you to be patient. You're moving towards your destiny. Something is coming in, possibly through some sort of a relationship, to take you to the next level of your being. But you have to be patient. It's happening in divine timing. Beautiful reading. 